So I'm at the canal and it's frozen. Looks a bit awesome. Doesn't look thick enough to walk on. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to risk that. The sunlight this time of the year is friggin' awesome. It's about I don't know, eleven o'clock in the morning. And it's fantastic. Loving it. So I might stop here and do a sketch. Hi, Steve Elliott here again, uh, back in the studio doing the voiceover to this sketch that I did uh, by the canal. Um, this takes me back uh, quite a few years. Um, I've always lived in this, this area uh, for, for many years and um, this place where I've done this sketch is a place I visit a lot. There's a, a few public houses close by. Uh, where it's really nice in the summer to have a walk to and have a drink of beer. But many, many years ago, um, my brother and I were sign painters. He's, in fact, he still is. He's, well, he's a, a sign maker now. Uh, everything's gone computerised and he uses uh, digital graphics and things. But back in the day, we used to hand paint signs. So consequently, we did uh, a fair bit of work on narrow boats and I remember one summer we had to um, paint this narrow boat that um, was by the canal. And it was parked up pretty much exactly where this narrow boat is in this sketch. And it should have probably took us a couple of days to do, to do this job. But in actual fact, it took us way longer, probably four or five or six days, because we spent good portion of the time sat on top of the canal boat with a guitar and a banjo my brother plays the banjo and he was sort of uh plucking that and uh, i play guitar and he's he got a guitar as well so we just sat on the top of this canal um so, sorry on the top of the narrow boat plucking tunes we, we do a lot of sort of folky stuff as well and we would get off the narrow boat and wander into the pub and get a glass of beer back onto the narrow boat again, uh, pluck a few more tunes. And, and while while away the days, uh, just enjoying ourselves, really, uh, when we should have been busy painting. We did do some painting, because obviously we did get it finished. But uh, the guy that owned the narrow boat, he was a guitar player as well. So he was happy that we were strumming away, because he'd come and join us. And it was just a, you know, a happy time. Uh, in fact, I've got a, well, I haven't, uh, my brother on a, an old YouTube channel, he has a, a video of us playing dueling banjos, so I'll put a link to that um, somewhere, so you can have a look at that. It's about 10 years old and really, really bad video and lots of people talking over it, but you get to see us strumming away playing dueling banjos. So this is this place is called Shardlow, by the way, it's in the UK. Um, Nice little canal. It was again. It was really cold when I was doing this, so it's a pretty quick sketch. I, I didn't mess about too much. Um, I, in some respects, I think I overworked the sketch. I was just looking at the narrow boat there, where I hadn't got any shading on it, and I felt um, it probably would would have been better just left like that. But I didn't. I um, went in with a lot more colour but you know never mind uh, that's what it's all about that's why you're doing the sketches um <clears throat> this one i could possibly work it up into a painting looking at it now though uh, the things that i observe about it, observe about it as a sketch is that the clump of trees are set really central to the painting so that's not so cool that probably wouldn't work out exactly right i've got the horizon line right in the middle of the painting so although it works as a sketch probably would not look too good as a painting as it is i would have to definitely change the composition i'd probably shift everything over to the right um and move, move the buildings and the trees so so that the trees are falling on 
uh, what's called the golden mean. What I mean by that is if you was to split the canvas or the piece of paper into thirds, it would sit on uh, the uh, one of the lines that would be the third. And maybe I could put the horizon on the top third as well. So lift the horizon up and that would give a much more pleasing composition for a painting. But what I like about the sketch is it is giving me an opportunity to explore the tones and what, what is going to be dark and what is going to be light in the painting. So I, I might do this as a painting, actually. I think it, it wouldn't be uh, a bad idea. Probably a watercolour. Now I'm uh, into Procreate, messing about with um, designing my own brushes. I'm sort of into the watercolour scene a little bit more again. I, um got one coming out on Sunday, actually, uh, where I've um, made my own brushes for it. So I'm quite into that at the minute. So I might, I think it might, might be a good idea to do this as a painting. In fact, yeah, uh, I think I will. And you'll see what I mean about the composition. I'll change the composition around to suit the painting. So, um, that's that's pretty much it. I'm just putting the final bits of shading in using the paintbrush. So it's like sort of wetting in the pencil, if you like, with a water-soluble pencil. And that is pretty much it. So, short video. Thanks for staying with me till the end. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. That always helps me a lot. It's much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I've got lots of videos about digital painting and sketching, and I'd love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.